Welcome to a new episode of Discover Daily, the AI-generated podcast curated by Perplexity to satisfy your curiosity about the latest in tech, science, and culture. I'm your host, Alex, and in today's episode, we'll explore Meta's ambitious AI video generation plans, the legacy of the beloved Doge meme icon Kabosu, a curious iPhone bug, a major Microsoft outage, and the future of Yottabyte-scale data compression. Let's get started. Meta Platforms Inc. is making waves in the tech world by engaging with Hollywood Studios to license content for its advanced AI video generation software. This initiative is part of a broader effort by Meta, Alphabet, Google, and OpenAI to enhance their AI models with high-quality, realistic content from established entertainment sources. Meta and Alphabet have reportedly offered substantial sums, estimated in the tens of millions of dollars, to secure content that can train AI models capable of generating realistic video scenes from text prompts. While some studios, like Warner Brothers Discovery, are open to licensing specific programs, others like Disney and Netflix are more cautious, preferring to explore other forms of collaboration. Meta's Make a Video system, which turns text prompts into high-quality video clips, represents a significant advancement in generative AI technology. Additionally, Meta's EMU video tool generates short animated clips from text descriptions, showcasing the company's capabilities in AI-driven content creation. However, the use of AI in content creation raises ethical and legal concerns, particularly regarding the use of actors' likenesses and potential job displacement in the entertainment industry. The recent SAG-AFTRA strike highlighted these issues, emphasizing the need for clear guidelines and compensation for the use of digital likenesses. Meta is committed to transparency, implementing labeling systems to identify AI-generated images and videos, ensuring users are aware of the origins of the content they consume. In a more somber note, Kabosu, the beloved Shiba Inu dog, who became an internet sensation as the face of the Doge meme and inspired the creation of the Dogecoin cryptocurrency, has passed away at the age of 18. Her owner, Atsuko Sato, announced the heartbreaking news in a blog post on Friday, May 24, 2024. Kabosu gained worldwide fame in 2013 when a photograph of her, taken by Sato in 2010, went viral on social media. The iconic image featured Kabosu with a side-eyed look and crossed paws, quickly becoming a popular meme known as Doge. Sato, a 62-year-old kindergarten teacher from Sakura, Japan, described Kabosu's peaceful passing in a poignant poem on her blog. Kabosu had been battling leukemia and liver disease since late 2022. The impact of Kabosu on internet culture is immeasurable. Her image not only sparked countless memes, but also inspired the creation of Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency that started as a joke, but now boasts a market capitalization of $23 billion. Kabosu's fame extended beyond the digital realm, with a bronze statue of her unveiled in Sakura in November 2023. An NFT of her iconic image sold for $4 million in 2021. Celebrities like Elon Musk, Snoop Dogg, and Gene Simmons have also supported and referenced Kabosu and Dogecoin over the years. As the world bids farewell to Kabosu, her legacy as the beloved Doge meme icon and the inspiration behind Dogecoin will continue to live on, reminding us of the power of the internet to bring people together and create a lasting impact on our culture. Switching gears, the issue of deleted photos reappearing on iPhones has recently garnered significant attention, particularly following the iOS 17.5 update. Apple identified a bug introduced with the update that caused previously deleted photos to reappear on users' devices. The company attributed this issue to a rare database corruption, 
and clarified that it was not related to iCloud photos. Instead, the problem stemmed from corrupted database entries on the devices themselves, leading to the unintended restoration of deleted images. Several users reported that photos they had deleted, in some cases months or years ago, unexpectedly reappeared in their photo albums after updating to iOS 17.5. This issue was not limited to photos. Some users also mentioned the reappearance of deleted voicemails. Concerns were raised about the potential privacy implications, especially for sensitive content such as personal photos. One controversial claim, which was later retracted, suggested that photos had reappeared on a device that had been erased and sold to a new owner. Apple refuted this claim, stating that once a device is fully erased, using the Erase All Content and Settings option, it is impossible for any old data, including photos, to resurface. In response to the issue, Apple released the iOS May 1st 17 update, aimed at addressing the bug. The company explained that the update would prevent the recurrence of the problem, but noted that it would not automatically delete the photos that had reappeared due to the bug. Users affected by this issue would need to manually delete the resurfaced photos again. Apple's swift response and the release of a corrective update underscore the company's commitment to addressing software bugs and protecting user privacy. On May 23, 2024, Microsoft experienced a significant outage that affected multiple services, including Bing, Microsoft Copilot, ChatGPT Internet Search, and DuckDuckGo. The root cause of the outage was traced back to an issue with Bing's API, a critical component that allows other services and applications to access and utilize Bing's search capabilities. Users attempting to access Bing encountered blank pages or HTTP 429 errors, though Bing's core search functionality remained operational when accessed directly via a specific URL. The outage also impacted Microsoft Copilot, with both the web and mobile versions going offline, including the Copilot integration in Windows. ChatGPT Plus subscribers were unable to perform web searches within the chatbot interface, and DuckDuckGo, which relies on Bing's API, experienced disruptions, with users encountering error messages when attempting to use the search engine. Microsoft acknowledged the issue and provided updates through the Microsoft 365 status account on X, formerly Twitter assuring users that they were actively working on resolving the problem. As the day progressed, Microsoft gradually restored services. DuckDuckGo was among the first to come back online, followed by partial recovery of Bing and Copilot services. By the morning hours in the Eastern Time Zone, most services had been restored. The outage highlighted the interconnected nature of the digital landscape and the reliance on APIs for seamless integration and data exchange between different platforms. It underscored the importance of redundancy and contingency planning to mitigate the risks associated with potential disruptions. Finally, let's talk about Yottabyte scale data compression, an emerging field addressing the challenge of managing and processing extremely large datasets, often reaching the scale of Yottabytes. One Yottabyte equals sign one trillion terabytes. This scale of data is not yet practically achievable with current storage technologies, but is a theoretical concept used to illustrate the vastness of data that can be generated in the digital age. Researchers at Los Alamos National Laboratory have developed a tensor network approach that achieved world record compression of memory on the Yottabyte scale. This method was applied to solve real-world neutron transport equations, demonstrating efficiency and accuracy in handling high-dimensional partial differential equations. Theoretical discussions on platforms like Reddit suggest that compressing data from yottabytes to megabytes would require the original data to contain almost no actual information or use extremely lossy compression methods, which would result in significant loss of information.
This highlights the challenges in achieving such high compression ratios without compromising data integrity. Various algorithms are tailored to different types of data. For example, ZFP and FPZIP are designed for compressing floating point and integer data, achieving high compression ratios and speeds. Other algorithms, like Standard, offer a balance between compression ratio and speed, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. As data volumes continue to grow, the scalability of compression techniques becomes crucial. Efficient data compression can significantly reduce storage costs and improve data transmission speeds, which is essential for managing big data in cloud computing environments. Ongoing research is exploring new methods, such as machine learning-based compression algorithms, which can optimize compression by learning from the data itself. These methods show promise in achieving better compression ratios and performance but also come with challenges related to computational resources and model training. While Yottabyte scale storage is not yet in use, the concept is important for planning future data management strategies. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Discover Daily. If you enjoyed today's stories, be sure to subscribe to Discover Daily on your favorite podcast platform. For more details on these stories, check out the episode description for links. Don't forget to download the Perplexity app on Android or iOS. We'll see you back here on Monday. Until then, stay curious.